counting down to Valentine's Day, answering your modern romance questions. And this morning, should you date your coworker? One couple story of meeting at the office, then marrying is trending big right now. And ABC's Rebecca Jarvis has their story. That was nice to meet you, Ben. Office romance. Even the interns can't escape it. See you later. Love to. But not all spare yeah. in love and work. These days, many companies have policies that frown upon cubicle courtships. So what happens when the one is the one you sit next to every day? We worked together for just over a year, and I never told a single soul. 27-year-old Jacqueline Smith and now husband Tyler McKee were together for four years when Tyler took a job at Jacqueline's company, where she no longer works, finding his desk right next to his girlfriend's. You know, eight floors of a building, you didn't expect to be sitting 15 feet away from her. The couple choosing to keep their relationship private from their co-workers. We were worried a little bit about our reputation and what people might think or say. The Business Insider editor says there were several steps they took to keep their work and personal lives separate. You should always check the company policy before you start an office romance. We weren't showing up and leaving at the same time. Um, and to be frank, we really rarely talk to each other. The couple also kept their lovey-dovey messages off their business emails and cell phones. Another important consideration, keeping their love quarrels out of the office. Now, happily married for four months, Jacqueline and Tyler say their relationship is a testament to making an office relationship work. I ended up leaving the company and going to work uh, somewhere else. And we stayed together, and a few years later, I proposed. Yeah, the rest is history. All right, and Rebecca joins us now along with life coach Demetria Lucas, author of Don't Waste Your Pretty. Thanks for being <laughs> with us. And Rebecca, you actually have a, a little personal <laughs> tale to tell. You met your husband at a very convenient time at work. Yes, we met um, working back to back. We worked back to back in a cubicle for almost two years. I used to work at a bank. We worked back to back in this cubicle for almost two years. He came to me, told me he was quitting, and I told him I liked him. <laughs> <laughs> Timing <laughs> is everything. Very interesting <laughs> conversation but for me you know I had always been taught you don't date people at work it's a really bad idea so had I you was always you know you can ask my friends I, I tried to set up a lot of my friends with my husband before we ended up dating because I thought he was such a good person and I don't think I even allowed myself to really think of him in that way until I knew that we weren't going to be in any kind of conflicting situation he wasn't my boss I didn't report right. to him but, but still, that makes was, a big difference yeah, doesn't it it does it yeah. really does I think in my case it did because in my mind I didn't want it I didn't want it to hinder him at work I didn't want it to hinder me at work we did there were a couple of weeks there where we did date and we still we still worked in that same cubicle together, but um, <laughs> just a few don't look behind <laughs> me. Demetria, do, do not you, look behind Demetria, me. Demetria, do you have to, to to be in Rebecca's situation to start that office romance? Is there a way to do it while you're both still working there? Well, I think you did it the exact right way. You took things very slow. I don't know if two years is necessary, but <laughs> good job. That that works out. But take things Patience. slow. Investigate who you're you're dating because you're taking a really big risk here. So do a little search. Find out about his office history. You the first person that you know he's dated. Is he hit on everyone? These are things that you want to know. <laughs> And, and you want to make sure not to leave a digital trail as well, correct? Try to get off the company email when you're beginning that romance? It's never, ever on the company email. At the beginning, at the end, in the middle, nothing. Everything is on your personal account. And if you can't keep it that way, then you just talk in person. Should you keep your relationship under wraps if you're dating in the office? Absolutely. The people in the office do not need to know anything that's Don't going on. Don't they always know, though? They do. I feel like I always <laughs> know. They knew before we did that there was something is there it, in it, our it, case. Is it fun to know. pretend you're not dating? Like, keep it on the down low? There, there is that element. I think of the excitement initially, but but the most important thing, and I think Demetria touched on this too, is in the early stages, you don't know. It, it, you can't possibly know how serious this is going to be, so you want to take it slow and then give yourself that but time. You're very realistic about this. You're basically saying it's going to happen, so do it right. Exactly. You know, I don't think it's the best idea, but if you're going to do it, I think you did it the right way. All right, thank Demetria, you. thank awesome. you. Rebecca, thank you. Congratulations on a happy marriage. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs>